You know you're a Texas boy when your hands stop working at like 56 degrees or whatever it is right now? What's going on you guys? Welcome back. It's Connor O'Reilly and I'm in Cloudcroft, New Mexico on a beautiful ski resort playing the Cloudcroft, Cloudcroft Disc Golf Course. This is day four of Vlogsmas. This is going to be a beautiful and really fun mountain course. 55 degrees up in the Rockies here. We're at almost 9,000 feet so elevation is going to come into play for sure. Hole one, they're calling it a par four at 411 feet. You can see the flag up there dead straight up the hill, but there's probably at least 50 feet of elevation gain, so it's a legitimate huff to get up there, but definitely it looks like an eagle hole. I don't know though. A little bit of road legs, fresh out the van. Getting an eagle on this might be a tall task, but let's see what we can do. I'm sure the video is not doing it justice, but this is really far up the hill. I'm gonna take my ride. I'm right over on some hyzer. I know my guy James was going to pass with these boxes, but I might take a page out of his book here and take a step back. I always underestimate the actual chain of stability that you get when you're playing 9,000 feet above sea level. This stuff's real. Bring your roller disc. I just lasered back to the T. Said I went 274 feet. That's probably the hardest I've ever worked to throw 274 feet. These mountains are no joke. I'll call this one a legitimate par four, honestly. You give it a, an angle and a rip to get there, you deserve it. Try to chip one over there with my face. I gotta say, if you're ever going through New Mexico, this place is gorgeous so far. I mean, only on pull, pull two, but mountain views, pretty much 360 as far as the eye can see. Yeah, can't beat it. The forehand line is probably the ideal line here. It comes into the hillside and the slope there and helps stop it in. Whereas the backhand, if you do hit the angle right where you have the speed, it might go too far and cruise down the hill. I'm gonna take my X justice, pop it out flat to the left, and then it spikes back over. Such a great addition. Sometimes you come to a course, maybe you don't want to have U disc up and use the GPS to find all the different holes every time. Have an arrow pointing which direction, but also how far. Next level. This is pretty sweet. Three holes in, this course is sick. So unique, true mountain golf. 285 feet. We got a road here and a road here out of bounds. I'm going to go ahead and call it an out of bounds island. I got to make it across. Otherwise, I'm out. Right, let's take a little spike. Heiser is the best play here. Let's go with that justice. 
I got a pretty strong left to right headwind here. Should kind of cut my disc out of the air, so I gotta make sure I give it the height. Got a nice little one step run up. left of it. Basket's tucked off right at the end. It says 256 feet. But it plays pretty significantly uphill so it's going to be probably playing somewhere in the 330 foot range or more. But since I'm not sure and there's a backstop log with the slope, I'm going to bump up the speed, go fast with the stiletto. about going long and using it as a backstop. It could be about 12 feet and have to do some twister for a putt. This is a good spot right here though. Another birdie. Let's get on the train. All right, hole five is another shorter par three. Got a couple trees, horse you to just throw it straight off the tee. Looks like a straight to the fade forehand is going to be the best option for a right hand player. There's also a dead straight gap that's pretty solid, but it's a little bit tighter. I'm going to take my Pioneer, see if we can't ring this one up. There's something about mountain golf that'll really make you feel like a mortal. 261 feet, I thought this was a good shot with my 9 speed driver. I got a 37 foot foot. about my mortality, I would have jumped under that 37 footer. Not a chance. See on the next one, find out. All right, that was a painful miss at 260 feet, but we'll get over it. 206 feet here, tucked right behind this pine tree. I'm gonna chip my X just, my X harp at it with the forehand. up there decently. Kind of disappointing that that was not an ace run. I guess one way to present challenge at 206 feet is to have trees six inches from the cage. It plays. I'm okay with it. Alright, three through six. I'd like to be at least double digits on this course though. Got some work to do. Seven looks like a fun one. 226, pretty steeply down the hill. Got a straight tunnel that finishes a little bit to the left at the end. I'm gonna take my fade, put it out there flat and gentle, let it fade left. Do it! Oh, just long. Thought it had a chance. Alright, 
Stepping up to hole eight's box. This course is cemented. One of my favorites I've played so far. Just look at it, gorgeous. You got a valley shot down the hill, back up a little bit. A row of trees here, making it a tunnel. I mean, this is honestly one of the most beautiful holes I've played yet in the five years I've been playing. I'm gonna go with my compass here, a little bit beat in. Going on from Heiser right at the bucket. It's 400 feet, but I'm gonna try to let that downhill make it fly long for me. Off the deer's back in the bucket, check it. Flip up. Watch out, deer. Four. <laughs> the deer just <laughs> and froze. <laughs> <laughs> That's, a hole. That's a sweet birdie to get. It's such a fun hole. All right, hole nine. If you've been watching this whole front nine, I really appreciate you guys for the support. Hope you've been enjoying the video. This course has been a lot of fun. Ending up with the par three, 192 feet, sorry, 182 feet it says. Up the hill, nice straight gap. Deer in your way. This place is amazing. Chipmunks. Going with my faith here. Gonna make sure I give it a good rip. So I fly over Bambi. Good thing I filleted that gap, otherwise I just caught a deer in the rib cage. Could be a putt, maybe a little long. Probably best I didn't know there was a little bubble of out of bounds here. That's on the mind. I had a pretty good rip on a power drive right there. 192 feet of my putter. Mountain golf. Basket hug birdies. The best kind. Thanks for joining me on the front nine here at Cloud Trough Disc Golf Course. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Drop a comment below if there's any courses you'd like to see me play in the south, southeastern United States coming up here in the next couple weeks. I just wanted to say thanks again, guys. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back. Here we are with the back nine. Cloudcroft Disc Golf Course. Super exciting, fun mountain course, beautiful venue. Hole 10, starting off with a par three, 192 feet. I'm gonna run my face at this one. Got a couple trees long, so let's try to give it an eighth run. I'm gonna go with a little stand still here. It's pretty short. Float on that one. Should have some windows, but it's gonna be tight in there. All right, got a bit of a low ceiling. Got to drop to a knee here, make this cap a little bigger for me. might only be 175 feet, but it's vastly up the hill. At least 50 feet. I'm gonna throw it hard. Going with the compass here. Put it on a little bit of turn. Try to make freedom ring right here. Do it. Oh. Close. Close. Definitely one of those courses and one of those holes especially. You don't want to be the first one to try in your group. Throw a good deep shot. You can catch your breath. Alright, pretty close here. Luckily, 
I found this nice gap in the trees. There's a couple dead areas on this tree. Let's see. Well, here, Figure I might as well fight the sun. Get some glare action off my OptoX lunar compass. 314 feet. Gonna put it out there to the right. Let it fade back. Little point of view. Right into the eyes of the sun. Big stump just at the base of it. I can't roll it away. Hopefully, I've got a pot. this one through pine balls. Alright, we got a little shorty right here. You can see the flag stick just over the bridge. They're calling it a buck 57. It looks a little shorter. I'm gonna take my X harp on a forehand. Go an X harp on a forehand. Gotta be the one. Come on. Ah. That's gotta be pretty close there. Maybe just on the back side. We got a 230 foot par three right here. Dual option fairway. The tournament playing me wants to just spike it over the top of all the trees, but that's no fun or no challenge. So I'm gonna take my face on the straight right hand backhand line on the right side. A little inside there, I might have fought through with a putt. Let's see. I get for not spiking it over the top. A par. I hope you guys have enjoying this video as much as I've been enjoying this course. Really a gym. If you're ever in the area, make sure to check it out. Got another dual option par three coming up here. Looks like a doozy. 
This one's only 250 feet. Two options. The left option's kind of a sucker gap. There's a wall of trees that'll kind of impede your progress there. This right side is the more open one. So you really gotta move your disc pretty far to the left to park this one. Seems like a smart basket to try to play the right side of the green. Get a look on. I'm gonna take my compass. Steep hyzer. Ghost trees. You can't beat the golden hour views in the Rockies. It's courses like this that remind me why I really fell in love with this game in the first place. Just being out in this beautiful world and appreciating nature. I want so much I, that I appreciate the the bucket. Hey, this little reader's in my head, you guys. Two more to go. Let's finish strong. All right, two holes to go. Got a par four here. 452 feet, not exactly sure which line. But at this point, just make sure to cover the distance and I should have a look at a birdie. Should be serviceable. to give that one too much height. We'll take a bird though, trying to get to that double digit under mark. Here on Hole 18's Tee Box, I really appreciate you guys for joining me here at Cloudcroft Disc Golf Course. Such a beautiful course. I gotta say, honestly, top 10 in my most fun courses I've played. Not necessarily the, the design in terms of a tournament course, in terms of just having fun, enjoying nature, and being out here throwing disc, absolutely would recommend this one. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. We're going to have 25 straight days, 25 different courses leading up to Christmas. Going to be doing some giveaways as well once, about, once every five days or so. So make sure you tune into those. Follow me on socials. Keep up to date with that. Thanks again, you guys. Hope you enjoyed. King up with dual par fours. This one's got an out of bounds road cutting it in the middle. Also a mandatory forcing you to fly left. I'm gonna throw a setup shot out there. Try to get myself to the left, open up the gaps. Cause I'm not really sure what it looks like coming into the green. All right, I'm just gonna break this hole in half. Play a fairway off the tee. Let's see what we got from there. I like to chop this one in half. Got a bit of work to do for a birdie still. I'm gonna go forehand pioneer into the green. Look at that beautiful sunset. It just speaks for itself. Chance at birdie. Oh, just short. Hope you all have enjoyed this beautiful track. Make sure to check it out if you're ever in the New Mexico area. That's all.
Chelsea Rowe.